you know, I think back on all the things that I've accomplished in the last um, couple months through through launch, and um, part of me wants to, to think that I could have done it on my own, but I don't think I could have because I wouldn't have even known where to start. Um, I got my LLC, um, and I'm, I'm actually kind of up and running. I have my office, and when I first started, I didn't even know that those were things that I needed or that I, I wanted to achieve, and I've done it all, so... I think the most important thing that I'll take from it is just take a risk. You know, at the end of the day, you can calculate, 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 but, you know, at the end of the day, the most, the scariest thing as an entrepreneur to do is to launch off. And so sometimes you just have to step out there on a leap of faith, have confidence in yourself that you've prepared for it, and then just go for it. And that's the biggest thing. I'm a very calculated person, so taking risk is not my favorite thing to do. Launch really allowed me to, to look at was look at entrepreneurship, um, you know, from a fresh perspective. It always helps to, you know, go over the basics. Uh, but more than anything else, it helped me to learn how to create a product that was going from business to consumer. How do you create a product that is going out to, you know, someone that is just going to take a look at what you've got and, and make a purchase? And the support from the, the thought leaders and, and the people in our class that we've met have been uh, invaluable. So just that, uh, the whole experience has been very valuable. You know, I, all I had was an idea. And now, you know, I'm talking to a designer, I'm, you know, looking for packaging. It's happening. <laughs> it's kind of scary, but it's exciting. I think it was more over uh, the whole span of the course, not individual lessons or theories or this or that. It was the little, the little tidbits here and there, the little gold pieces that you kind of take and put in your pocket. and. The overall collection of those little gold pieces have made a big difference on the way we look at things, the way we plan for things, and the pitch, the product, the approach, just everything has, those little tidbits have really helped us a lot. When you're on the fence, you're just at home and you're like, oh, that'd be a great idea, but you're not doing anything with it. But coming here, it does even, just stepping in the door, it's like, yes, I'm here again. Like, I'm getting my, you know my concentration back like here let's go it just keeps you on track but in the right track it's it's a huge guidance in especially if you've never done something like this before the thought leaders the most amazing thing to me is that you have all of this knowledge and ex experience all in one room that you can kind of tap into um, I don't think that we would ever be have the opportunity to meet them outside of a launch program and so it's just been an invaluable um, asset to be able to tap into these people that we can, you know, go back, ask questions, think about things, and then just have them help us develop our business. Yeah, they've the been way. generous and kind and, and really care about us and our business and wanting us to succeed. So. Something that I've been thinking about for the past couple of years, but I've been thinking the same things over and over again, and I think now this time I've kind of had the opportunity to go beyond where I was initially and try and turn this into an actual business that may be viable. Well, my final thought for anyone that's starting a new business, this is a great way to go because I think the ideas, just the networking, the camaraderie with everyone there, it's very, very helpful. You just don't get this out of a textbook. Reading a book is not the same. When you're with real people, you get real ideas. And I think this networking will be a lifetime I feel as if we'll be a family forever.